Today's October 1st, uh, 2016, and just doing a quick update. Recently, we've finished all the trim and all the bats on the uh, garage and painted it, did the main coat of paint. My neighbor let me borrow one of those big pro paint sprayers, which was really awesome. It worked great, and the um, hardest part was cleanup. Uh, the actual painting went really fast and really smooth, and it leaves a nice smooth uh, coat. So now I've just got to go back by hand and do all the trim with uh, white and a, and a paintbrush. Yeah. See, we did a kind of a lighter, cool gray color. And you can see I started some of the trim here. The trim's all going to be white. You can see all the trim is on. This one little section right here, I couldn't put bats on because then the doors wouldn't slide. So honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I haven't figured out a solution because uh, I think it looks weird. I might try to slice on the table saw some bats really thin and put them on there just so that they looks like there's lines there, but they won't be as thick. You can see I've finished all the boxing in of everything. This is a good example right here. You see the trim is white right there. And on all the windows, the trim all the way around them is going to be white. And I just taped them and cover, taped them up, covered them up with uh, newspaper before I sprayed everything. You can see up here I started painting the the ridge there, the ridge trim, and it's white, and it's going to come down the corner. It will be white eventually. On these doors, I'm going to paint all the trim white which I think will kind of make them stand out, make them look pretty cool. And then I'll come back and with just uh, some gloss black and repaint the hinges black. Over here is a good example of the, the trim, the white trim. This right here is actually the uh, roofing material. It's a galvalume is what they call it. It's an R panel. And so I hope to start putting that on next weekend. So I've just got to finish hand painting all the trim and then I can put the galvalume on. Uh, I got to paint the trim first because the galvalume actually caps it over and, and uh, you know, to make the water shed off of it. So 